Welcome back to Sea Glass Archaeology, everybody. It's been a few days since a massive storm hit Cape Breton Island, and while we're not able to go to the beach there today, you can really see those waves behind me, while we're not going to be able to go to the beach here today, I was able to go over all my video memory of the summer, and I put together a fantastic compilation of clips and finds that I'm so excited to share with you. There's plenty of sea glass archaeology in this video as well. I actually learned quite a bit myself in doing the research and putting it together. I'm so excited to share it with you. Let me know what your favorite parts are. I am just walking the doggies and it's a little bit after six o'clock. I'm inside the harbor and I'm at the high tide mark about. You can see there's a lot of broken glass around me. This is actually the third bottle that I found that says ounces on it. And now look at this right over here. It looks like it's Amberina. <gasps> oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Look at this, everybody. It is like a tail light. You can see it's got the hobnail pattern and it's Amberina. You can see that there is so much other glass around that is not that exciting. And then right over here is this absolutely amazing find. Well, here it is, everybody. This is probably one of my absolute favorite types of glass that I recover out on the beach. It is concrete glass or cement glass. This might be the sixth time in my life I've recovered a piece of concrete where you can see that the glass became part of the filler pour. And I even have a piece of a ceramic plate with some concrete on it as well. And this one over here was just shining because it's late in the evening once again. I'm out on the shorelines. And now look at this perfect heart, everybody. I'm almost standing in the exact same spot where I found that beautiful red piece 24 hours ago, the Amberina tail light. And this one was just sticking out. And it's absolutely wild because I'm not even on the beach. I'm in the harbor. And now check this out over here. It's a Carboniferous era fossil. So you can see it's a fern leaf. It's kind of small and it's approximately 280 to 330 million years old. So here we are, you can see Mikey's down there picking tinies. William and I were looking for little baby crabs and we saw some massive eels. And then I came across this huge piece of indigo blue sea glass. It's really, really well aged and it's very thick as well. It's wild because there's footprints all over the beach, everybody. And this beautiful pottery shard is sitting right over here. I'm just home from the sea glass shanty and I'm definitely not getting enough time on the beach. So I figured I'd give things a little peek I'm down here with the doggies and there's definitely sea glass on the shoreline. This is my friend Charlie right over here. He loves to come for walks with us. Hi Charlie, how you doing? In the old days we used to call him Duke but we didn't know what his name was and then one day we heard somebody call his name. Look, he just follows me everywhere because animals absolutely love me. Check it out everybody, I'm out in the rain. I just closed up my sea glass shanty and I'm walking the doggies. And you can see right over here, there's a marble and half of it is exposed. It's not a sea marble, but it's still pretty neat. You can see the red, white, and blue. It's raining, so I can't keep filming for much longer, guys, but it's pretty neat. Okay, everybody, I just heard Mikey. He yelled, yes, yes. What do you got, Mike? A marble. You found a marble, hey? We haven't been here in forever. That's a big one, Mike. It looks good, nice and green. Yeah, a couple of days ago, just you what? Know, just yesterday we were here and it was all covered in seaweed. It was all high and now the waves have subsided. There he is. You can see I just followed him right back to the pile. And look, there's a piece of green sea glass right there. It's huge, Mike. Look right here, right in front of me, right here. Look at that. Good job, Mikey. I guess this is what I look like when I'm on the shoreline, hey? Look at that, Mike's looking for tinies just like his dad. That's so fun. Good job, Mike, that's the perfect technique. Piggy says, I want you to look for some fun too. I want you to chase. Pig says she wants us to throw the ball. And William says he wants me to go look for crabs underneath rocks. I don't know what to do here. There's just so much fun going on. There's so much fun going on, everyone. Okay, now look at this, everybody. This is what Mikey found over here. It looks like it's layered glass. You can see the blue and the clear. And the dogs are barking. She just wants me to throw the ball. Like I said, when I am not at the sea glass shanty, this is what's happening. Look at that. William found purple right over there. And Good job, green. Will. Oh, and green too. 
Okay, don't what? lose it. Oh, okay, I'll take the green. Don't lose your purple, Willie. Good job. He's going to go show his brother. Look how excited he is. He found a little purple speck. Michael found a marble. I guess the marble is not as important. Oh, Mike, what did you find, Mike? You found a piece of red? Yeah. Oh my god. Not. Oh, he tricked me. <laughs> he didn't find red. He just tricked me. Put this in a bag. Put this in a bag. That was my collection. Okay, too. yeah, I'll put this in your collection. Look at that. He found a nice little soft piece of purple there that's beautifully <laughs> aged to perfection. So Mike just brought something to me. He said, I just found something else. Look at this. Mike just found a small fragment of a sea marble. Here, let me hold it, Mike. Oh my goodness. Look at this, everybody. It's a small little portion of a cat's yeah, eye sea marble. It almost looks like the letter Y. Yeah, I see, Mikey. You put that in there too when I was getting the focus in. This action is just fast and furious. This is wild. A crab? Is he alive? No, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. He doesn't look like he, he looks like he, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, right there! Marble! A marble, I just kicked it up. William thought he saw a dead crab. And then, oh my gosh. Look at that, another marble, are you kidding me? Yeah, William. Here, let me see this one here. I'm not used to seeing large marbles like this out on the shore but it does have that aqua seafoam tinge to it, and it does appear to be older. It's a great find, William, great find. I, know, great find. I know I kicked Water. it up, but it was a great find. <laughs> yeah, let's see it, Willie. Let's see what you got. Oh my gosh, it's a crab. See, that's what caught our attention there. If we didn't see him, we wouldn't have found this, Will. Check this one out now, everybody. I just found a nice elongated piece of gray, and it's really thick. I'm in a pile with some much thicker, larger pebbles as well. So I was just hoping that I'd find something big and amazing, and I'm leaving the smaller piles for the kids right now. I'm just so happy to be here. Oh, and she wants me to throw the ball. You still want me to throw the ball, don't you? Okay, I'll do it. Check out what I just found, everybody. Now, it's not sea glass, but it's the top of an old wooden barrel keg. It's absolutely amazing. I was just walking the dogs in the harbor. You can see right on the sides over here, there's a couple of wooden slots and wooden pegs from where it would have affixed to the other half of it. And on one side, the bottom side, you can see the edge has been taken away. It's beveled. Sorry, I got to look in the camera, everybody. That was actually the top. And then here is the bottom, and you can see that the edge is very much reduced. You know, it's absolutely amazing. Oh, wait a second here. Property of Captain Kidd. Okay, I'm just kidding everybody. So this wasn't from Captain Kidd himself, but this is the type of thing that pirates would have kept a treasure in. You know, you might have seen something like this on Oak Island, and we're so close to it as well. I've always said that the same pirates that were traveling up and down the coast, going from the Caribbean, traveling on the Gulf Currents, could easily have stopped right here on my shoreline because it's such a safe, soft place where you can land, get some fresh water, and then forage for food and hunt animals as well. So this over here might be one of the most significant things that I've ever found in all of my years beachcombing. I know it's not shiny and pretty like sea glass, but it's an absolute favorite and I'm going to be bringing it to the sea glass shanty right away tomorrow morning and I'm so excited to share this with all the people that come by my shanty and see all my historical finds. Check it out, everybody. I'm just out with my children. We're just hunting crabs. And Mikey found the most amazing piece of blue sea glass that I've ever seen in my entire life. So you can see it right over here. It's a beautiful piece of blue sea glass and it's completely encrusted with barnacles on one side over here and a far peep. And a large portion of it over here is crusted with barnacles as well. It really looks like it's a piece of bonfire glass. Check it out, you can see the kids are having a good time with the doggies. I had just a few minutes here, I've been digging through the pebbles. I've got a nice little bag of sea glass. And right over here, I found this amazing little sea marble. It's probably only about seven, eight millimeters. It's very flat, like a pillow, and it's got some beautiful coloring to it, you can see as well.
Hey, look at this over here, everyone. Mikey just found a marble sitting right over here. Mikey got trapped right down over here at the concrete, right? Okay, that's awesome. So let's have a look at it, Mike, over here. It's neat. I just found this piece of sea glass as well. Oh, look at that. It's got some nice purplish swirls to it. Yeah, it's got a lot of algae, a lot of seaweed on it over there. That's a great little find, Mike. Great little find. And look at William go here. William. William's doing the drums. And I'm solving. Mike, you just found an artifact. It's not that old, but you can see it looks like it's a Hot Wheels police car. Completely covered in sediment. Mike, we might have to put a toothbrush to that thing when we get home. Here, let's take a look here. Let's see what we can see. Yeah, we can definitely see. Okay, we can definitely see right over there the police lights. This is, oh, it's a majorette. Does it have a year on it, Mike? Let's see if it has a year. Okay, hold on, everybody. Let's take a look. This is a Chevrolet, 169th scale. I don't see. Yeah, it's a Chevy Impala is what it is, Mike. That doesn't matter. You found a nice little car. Nice, Mike. You own a car before I do. Good for you. Mike, what do you got? Mike found something. I heard him yell yes. Look at that. He found a really old $1 bill. Look at that, Mike. It's an old Canadian $1 bill. It's awesome. That's a loony. <laughs> Plastic, plastic. Oh no, here we are everybody. We're just at the high tide mark in the inside of the harbor and William found a marble and it looks old as well, Will. That looks like an old Christensen. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Look at it. It's got a heart shape on it right over there, guys. Oh my gosh, look at that. I think they call that ox blood red. This is a really nice little piece over here. Great swirls. I found it. William found it. Yeah, you're not usually the one that finds marbles, Will. Where'd you find it? Show me. Like I said, everybody, we were nowhere near the ocean or the water. He found it right over here, and we're nowhere near the ocean. That's the spot that he found it in. There's nowhere near right the there, ocean. Though. Yeah, there's water right there. You're right, but you I'll can see there's the brook. You're going to put it in your tomato basket? Oh, don't lose that marble. It's beautiful. That might be the nicest marble you ever found, Willie. Check it out, everybody. Do you see what I see? It's a sea marble. It's just an off day from the shanty. It's the kids' first day at school as well. So I have a few hours and I'm walking on the beaches. There's not much to look through, but I've kicked a little bit right over here and I found this beautiful frosty marble. Say hi, Piggy. You having a nice time? Now check out this perfectly aged nugget, everybody. I flipped it over and you can see there's a little bit of a spot where it's actually concaved in. And it's neat because I have that piece of lead crystal that looks like this, but I don't think that this is actually lead crystal. This over here doesn't have that dull, sparkly iridescence that I would expect to see in lead crystal. So I'm pretty sure that this is actually a piece of glass, and there's a good chance that this is actually a glass doorknob, especially because it's clear from the 20th century. I'm not 100% sure yet, but I'm just out here on the shorelines and I made this great find. And then I look down right over here, and you can see there's a tiny little piece of blue, so I'm glad I found it. I could hear William yelling from across the harbor, and he found a marble. Look Go at that, see where Will. it was. It's a nice little four vein cat's eye. Yeah, show me where it was, Willie. It was just like this. It was right over here. It just like that. It was just sitting right in the ground, and his brother walked right past it. Well, Will, let's keep on looking. There's probably going to be something else really good here as well. William says he just found the biggest jackpot ever. Let's take a look at what you found, William. The sea glass. Let's look at the sea glass that you just found. Oh, wow. Look at that. It's a super frosty, well-aged piece of a green bottle, Will. Good job. Does it have the numbers on the bottom that we can identify it with? It says 637, everybody. You can see it right oh. there. That's one of the biggest pieces of sea glass I've ever seen, Will. Good job. Very proud of you there. Hey Mikey, show me what you found right over here. Look at that everyone. Michael just found a marble. Good job, Mike. Oh, what else did he find? Oh, he found a piece of red. Okay, you're gonna have to let me look at that red, Mike, to see if it's all. Well, the red is absolutely just plastic, Mike, but this is still a really good marble. Good job, bud. Good job, everybody's finding things today. Even Pinky's over here and she's finding a good time. Check this out, everybody. I just found the name Matthew embossed on a nice piece of clear glass. It's rained a whole bunch over the past couple of days, and there's a whole bunch of little broken pieces of glass all over the place. This one caught my eye because I could definitely see there was some embossed lettering on it. So now I'm going to go home and do a quick search and find out what this originally looked like. 
Mike's just here with total excitement, and look what he just found. It's a gumboot. It's not a gumboot, which is definitely a sea creature it's that we don't see out here. But Mike here found about? a little Wade Whimsy you can see. I don't know if this one's a fox or it's another dog, but it's definitely headless, and it's not surf tumbled. That's a really great find, Mikey. Good job. So it's like two seconds later, and Mikey just found a marble. No, it's a gumboot. Okay, Mike still thinks it's a gumboot, which it definitely is not. But you can see here that he's got a nice it's marble. A and I bet if we clean it up, it almost looks like it's a little bit of opalescent to it. It's okay. a nice little milky swirl. And look what William's got over here. What a did gumboot. you find, Will? Um, look at this glass. neat little pattern. Yeah, you found glass. He, he says, oh, I found know. glass, he says. He's just like, I didn't find anything that's as cool as my brother. So I'm going to keep looking. Check it out, everybody. I'm just walking the doggies in the harbor, and I came across this beautiful piece of blue. We can tell right away it says chemical in the middle. I believe it says Windsor, as in Windsor, Ontario, on the bottom. So at the top, I don't know, maybe Chase. Either way, this is going to be from an old Milk of Magnesia bottle, and it's an absolutely perfect little fragment. I'm just out walking on the path. And I found this old penny. Well, I guess it's not that old. It's 1979, so it's only about 42 years old. And it's a little bit younger than I am. I just love the patina to it. It's got a nice oxidized copper look to it. And we don't make pennies up here in Canada anymore. So it's kind of neat to find this and think that maybe somebody did lose this out here 40 years ago. And it just washed out in a place that I've probably walked 12,000 times in my life. What does William have over here now? Let's see what you got, Willie. It's an artifact. William found there. an artifact. What is it, Will? A baby shrimp? A shrimp. Yeah, you found a baby shrimp. I knew that's what it Not was going to be. And then over here, we've got this beautiful piece of a bottom of a bottle that I really wish was intact. And we can see it says Company Incorporated, Distributors, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The contents was six fluid ounces, and it was made in the United States, made in USA. What did William just find over here? I can see it in his hand. William, show me what you found right over here. Oh my gosh, look at this crazy handle and this piece of pottery as well. This one is really, really, really special. The other pottery is pretty special too, Will. But that is a really nice aqua sea foam handle you can see and now there's somebody coming on an atv so i gotta grab the doggies quick look at the quality of this shoe right over here what does it say it says made in china but it still is a high quality looking shoe it's probably even better made than the shoe that i'm wearing on my foot right now oh wait a second look right over here right in the middle it's a toronto blue jay logo right over here you can see it's the Blue Jays logo, and that's why this shoe is so fancy. This is some sort of a cleat from some sort of a small kid's doll, some sort of memorabilia that was sold by the Toronto Blue Jays. Okay, everybody, so Mikey says he's got something he wants to show me here. Let's take a look at what you got, Mike. Oh, look at this. It's a nice little pottery shard, Mike. Let's flip it over. Oh, my goodness. Look at that, Mike. It actually says made in USA in it right in the center of the plate. So we're probably going to be able to figure out what that is, Mike. And it's kind of wild because we don't see a lot of plates that say made in USA in them. We can see made in England, of course, made in China, made in Japan, just Japan. And look at that right over there. So if anybody recognizes that pattern, it's a great find, Mikey. Mike says he sees something else. Here I am, everyone. I'm just walking the doggies. And this is one of the little bodies of water, a little brook that runs behind my house. And it empties into the ocean. And you can see right over here, tucked into the seaweed, there's a marble sitting right over here. You know, it's a little bit frosty, so I'm thinking that it might have sat at the uh, high tide mark for a while and been pushed back and forth, but it probably entered this area from this fresh water over here because people just would have discarded for so many generations. And even to this day, kids are absolutely fascinated with this little brook behind my house. I've spent countless hours with my children just walking through it, looking for little minnows and little tadpoles. Check out that screw cap from an old stubby. And then there's like an arm doll that's right next to it. It's extremely sea-worn. And then over here, I think I just saw a little piece of cobalt blue. Oh yeah, here it is right over here, everybody. And this one here actually looks like it's sea glass. So let's check it out. So look at that. Isn't that so wild that I can find a piece of blue that's just beautiful like this? And it's next to these broken shards like this one right over here. 
and the stubby and the baby arm. Well, I gotta take these all home with me, guys, and I gotta go catch up with the doggies again. So check this out, everybody. I'm just walking in the harbor looking for artifacts, and you can see there's a paneled cobalt blue fragment of blue glass over here. Well, I guess I don't know if it's gonna be a full bottle or not. I haven't uh, moved it, so I figured I'd do it on camera with everyone. And we know that this is an earlier Noxema because of the paneling, and I believe it was 1936. So let's take a look here. Ah, oh, it's just a tiny little fragment. Well, it had me fooled for a moment there when I was looking at it like this. I thought there's a chance that it was actually buried and intact. It's not sea glass, everybody, but this looks like it's an early century bottle. What I was noticing right away is you can see that it's not rounded. There's an actual point right over here. And then we can see these mold markings on the bottom from where it broke away from the casing. And you can also see the letters SF over here. And this is a local bottle that I know I have found a few times over the years. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to match this when we go home, because I believe this was made out in Glace Bay if I'm not mistaken. It just brings me so much joy to read everybody's comments and all of the positive words of encouragement. So thank you so much for all of your love, everybody. It's gonna be time to do another giveaway right now. After all, this is my most recent beachcombing adventure. So as I said in the last one, we're gonna take all of the comments and we're gonna put them into a random number generator and I'm gonna draw two sun catchers for two lucky viewers. Although I really wish that I could give a sun catcher to every single one of you watching because it just means so much to me to connect with you. Okay everyone, so I have all of the comments right over here. I believe there was 44 individuals, thank you all so much, who left a comment. Thank you for your kind words. It means so much to me and I wish I could give all 44 of you a sun catcher, but here we go. 31, let's see who that is. 31 is going to be Seashore Mudlark. Well, thank you so much for loving the videos. Okay, let's do it one more time everyone. 42. Okay, let's see who is 42. Oh, Lexa Sparks. Thank you so much. Well, I'm so excited to be sending something to you and your fiance as well, Lexus. Thank you everybody once again for loving my videos and leaving all the kind words. I'd really love to know what your favorite finds were everybody. So please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching. Hopefully when these waves subside, we're gonna be able to get to that beach and make some amazing discoveries. I'm so excited to get back out there and see what we find.